Howdy, everyone. I'm back at it again. It's a beautiful fall day here in North Dakota. So we're gonna head out in the kayak and spend the afternoon out here on the river. All right, let's go see what we can catch. So today I'm really hoping for one or two big bites. I'm looking for a muskie or maybe a big pike. And I've got a big swim bait to throw at them. This is actually a pretty interesting lure. It was another one made by my friend Michael over in Poland. We'll read the note that he sent along with it real quick. Hi Matt, it's been a long time since you tested the little pike. I am very glad that the tests turned out well and you had fun. This time I would like you to test my next project. I hope you will like it as well as a small pike. Best regards and good luck with your fishing. Michael Berecki. All right, let's take a look at the lure we've got here. So what we've got is a perch swim bait and this thing is absolutely beautiful. I mean, that looks just like a real perch. There's a lot of perch about this size swimming around out here on this river. So I think if we put that guy in front of a muskie or a big pike, they're gonna have a hard time turning it down. So I've paddled my way just a little bit upstream from where I launched. There's a small dam up here and a little bit of a pool beneath it, pretty much between here and there, where it's a couple of feet deeper than average on this river. I've got that swim bait tied on. I'll give you guys a quick look at his action. Yeah, he swims pretty well. Oh, there's a pike right there looking at him. Very first cast out of Pike, come look at him. He's still sitting right back here. Oh, he took a swipe at it. Got him. Oh my gosh, that was sick. Well, Michael, looks like your perch swim bait does the trick here in North Dakota. Very first cast, he was just trying to show the action of that lure. I saw this guy come up and look at it. Kind of played around with him for a minute there and finally got him to go for it. First catch of the day on that perch swim bait. Not the monster I'm looking for, but that's not a bad pike at all. Geez, that was crazy. I wasn't even really trying to catch a fish there. I just dropped that lure over the side. I was showing you guys its action and look over and this guy's coming up to look at it. So that was pretty cool. It's a good sign that these fish are active out here today. We'll get that one back in the water and see if we can find another. I just had something really nice chase my lure back a few casts ago. I don't think it was that one, but it was a decent little pike. We'll get him in the net. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not the one that chased it back. Pretty sure it was a muskie that I had follow this lure a few casts ago. But hey, I'll take a pike. Second one of the day, about the same size as that first one. Not a bad pike. Wow. 
Well, I was only planning on fishing my way upstream to this dam, but we caught a couple right beneath there, so figured we might as well continue our way upstream and give it a quick try up here. Yeah, we'll give it 45 minutes or so on top of the dam here, see if we see anything swimming around. If not, we'll turn around and head back downstream to some of the deeper spots. But I did catch two decent pike down here. I saw one really nice one chase my lure back. I don't know if it showed up on the GoPro footage or not, but there was one big fish down there at least. This looks like a good spot for a big pike or muskie to be sitting. We went from a really shallow little patch of weeds and drops off somewhat quick here. Clears up a bit and got a little bit deeper water. I think there'd be something sitting here in a spot like this. <gasps> Ooh, something just swiped my lure there. I think it was just a little something though. There we go. What do we got here? This might be something a little better. Oh yeah, a little better. Let me get back here to where it's shallow and try to get my anchor dropped. Oh wow, it's a muskie. Check that out. Nice little musky. All right, we found another one willing to eat that perch swim bait. Nice little musky this time. Look at the beautiful pattern on that fish. Awesome. So we're going to paddle up and try this spot up here below the big dam. Caught a bunch of muskie up here this summer. But I figure right now it might be a decent spot to try because we've got a little bit of slack water over here. And with that sun shining today, that slack water might be a little bit warmer than the moving water out here. So we'll go toss that swim bait around up here for a few minutes and see if we get a nice big dump on him. Probably pretty shallow up there, like less than a foot deep. About the same as I'm sitting in here, but sometimes right below where the water spills over here, there'll be something sitting there waiting to ambush. Kind of like that. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> There's a nice pike. That's what I was looking for out here today. Look at that beauty of a pike on the swim bait. Well, we fooled another one with that perch swim bait. Really nice pike this time. Did he chased that thing all the way back to the kayak, slammed it pretty much right next to me. Kind of scared me a little bit there. Yeah, that's always fun. Yeah, we're having a pretty good day out here. Fishing that perch swim bait all the way from Poland. I gotta say a big thanks to Michael for making this lure and sending it to me to try. It's really an honor 
getting to fish something that somebody put so much time into and went through the effort to send it here from pretty much halfway around the world. And it is doing a pretty good job out here today, catching some pike, one muskie so far. Yeah, it's been a great afternoon of fishing. Well, I fished my way around up here on top of the dam for about an hour. Found the one muskie over there and a nice pike upstream, so it's definitely worth checking it out up there today. I do think I'm gonna keep fishing my way downstream. We've got about an hour and a half until sunset. So we'll see, I'd like to hit a couple of the deep holes downstream from where I launched, but there's lots of fishy spots between here and there to hit too, so. We'll see how much time we have left when we get down there. It's been a little bit slow going, not much action in the last 45 minutes, but I think we're getting to that time of day where that sun's getting low in the sky, the water's starting to cool off again. These fish probably aren't quite as aggressive as they were earlier. This time of year when the water's cold, I usually do best midday, especially those days where it's a little bit warmer than the water temp. It gets that water warming up a degree or two and really seems to send those fish into a feeding mood. But we'll see if we can tempt at least one more fish to bite before I paddle back and call it quits for the day. Hey, speak of the devil. <laughs> oh, and he shook it. <laughs> we can't end the day like that. That's all right, he wasn't a monster. If that was a monster pike or muskie, I might cry a little bit on the way home, but I won't shed any tears for that little guy. Jeez, <laughs> well, that was a quick reaction out of that fish. There's a decent pike. Just a few minutes after I had the last one shake my lure, we'll get this one in the net. Well, we fooled another one with that perch swim bait. Yeah, this fish absolutely exploded on it. Pretty much as soon as it hit the water, that was almost a topwater strike. Nice pike. Might be the last one of the day. That sun's starting to get a little bit low. It's starting to cool off a bit. And I'm almost back to my truck. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for today's trip. Fun day out here on the river though. We caught a handful of really nice pike, decent little muskie, all of them on that perch swim bait. So big thanks to Michael Brecki for making that lure and sending it to me all the way from Poland to try on some North Dakota pike and muskie. He definitely got the job done out here today. I know he sells these too. I believe he does so through Facebook. So I'll leave a link to his Facebook page in the video description down below, as well as links for all the rest of the gear I was using out here today. It's always a good way to help support my channel by using those links, and I definitely appreciate it. 
Well, I've made it back here to where I started from, so that's gonna do it for today's trip. I had a lot of fun out here today. I hope you guys enjoyed the afternoon in the kayak with me. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.